got it. And there. <sighs> that sure has taken a lot out of me. Sorry, dude. I know you probably came over to hang out. I just needed to finish that last level. I just couldn't leave it hanging. I know you understand. I think that's what makes us so tight. So, anyways, I am actually surprised that you were able to come over and visit. Well, no offense, but I figured you'd be going on a date or something. I know that look. You're probably wondering what I'm going on about. <sighs> it's sad that you don't realize how cool you are. Trust me, you are. I didn't want to say this in front of anyone. It's just, I have been seeing a lot of girls eyeing you. Oh, no, you're not getting anything out of me. I don't want you to get any ideas. Besides, you're here right now. Okay, look, so you don't get to discourage. I'll just say... A few women were checking you out. Ones that you would probably rate a solid 10. <sighs> Trust me, dude. I know exactly the type of girls you're into. You know, blonde hair, blue eyes. A smile that can be seen from space. You're too easy. Ah, uh, yes. The Barbie craze. <laughs> it's too unbearable at times. What made it worse was that a year ago, all those girls and women were into Wednesday, dressing all goth and all. At least I was goth since middle school. No posing here. Just a genuine goth girl. And before you ask, yes, I am still salty that you had taken me to the Barbie movie because your date stood you up. I just couldn't resist those puppy dog eyes of yours. Begging me to go see it with you. Hey, you got to admit, Godzilla Minus One was a far superior movie. If I recall too, we both really enjoyed it too. Can't argue with that logic, huh? Anyways, I think it was worth it in the end. The two of us actually seeing a good movie that wasn't just another Hollywood attempt at being hip with the kids. <sighs> yes, it's cringe. That's the point. If they would actually listen to what people want, I bet that they would make a ton of money and please the audience. Anyways... I think I bored you long enough. What movie did you want to see? Don't worry, we don't have to watch any slasher movies today. Just so long as we stay away from the Hallmark Channel, we can be copacetic. Deal? Okay then, uh, what movie should we watch today? Hmm, let's see... No... No... Heck no. Hmm... No, not this one either. 
Any chance you want to see the Princess Bride? Uh, you're right, we watched that last week. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I mean, if you're interested, I could let you choose one. <sighs> okay, I know something is up. What's wrong? You're never this quiet. I mean, sure, it's Valentine's Day, and once again, the two of us are single. Is being single really that much of a bother to you? I mean, sure, couples celebrating the beheading of a Roman bishop is hardly romantic to young couples, but still... <sighs> you shouldn't let being single bother you. The way I see it, you should be able to celebrate love regardless of it being couples or not. What do I mean? Well, I think you can show love to family, friends, your pets. It doesn't have to be any of that sappy, true love cliches that we see in movies today. Especially when they don't understand true love. Oh, uh, nothing. Anyways, it seems like... Huh? You really want me to explain what I just said? <sighs> okay, fine. It's just... The whole concept of true love... I think it's kind of misplaced in modern media and romantic films. For me, true love, and I do mean the real deal love, is giving someone kindness to someone whether it be a compliment, a warm gesture, or just being there for them and asking for nothing in return. Love like that, I feel, is fleeting. Too often, people are obsessed with themselves to even bother to appreciate the little things in life. <clears throat> it's pretty much the reason why I look at the world as bleak and dark. No, if anything, I'm a realist. Nothing pessimistic about seeing the world for what it is. Do I feel any love? You mean like the love I explained about? Well, sure, there's my siblings, my parents, my pets. I know what you're thinking. Even the cheerleader of a younger sister? <laughs> yes, even her. We both have a healthy relationship, believe it or not. When we went shopping for each other's birthdays, we ask each other what the other wants. <laughs> I still remember the time she went into a hot topic to get a present for me. She ended up coming out crying. The reason it's so funny was because she didn't know what type of belt she wanted to get for me. She was looking at two, one with silver and green rivets, and the other skulls and crossbones. I eventually had to tell her that I was okay with either or. She, however, insisted on wanting to know what I would like. You remember what happened next, right? I just said, if you really aren't sure, just buy both. If it doesn't work with any of my outfits, you can have it. To which she begrudgingly agreed. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. 
I do appreciate that she would go above and beyond to find a present for me. I just feel like she shouldn't sweat the small stuff. Now, if, say, for example, she broke something of mine that was valuable, that would be something different. Any plans? Uh, well, you're looking at it. <laughs> hey, I'm serious. I don't need any fancy dates or romantic relationships. I'm content with being with someone who makes me feel... relaxed. I know what you're thinking. Maybe I should find some hot goth guy to go out with. <sighs> Again, dude, it's fine. It's not like I wouldn't like the idea of being in a relationship. I just would rather spend a day like today with people I genuinely care about. Aw, could it be that you have a thing for me? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I know you probably don't like goth girls, right? Okay, granted. There were a few fictional goth characters that you liked. <laughs> I can't blame you either. It's just... <sighs> Sometimes, I wonder if you could ever look at me as you do some of those characters. Um, wait. Did I just say that out loud? <laughs> uh, well, what I meant to say is... But, what is this hug for? I mean, I'm not against a hug. It's just I figure that you wouldn't be interested in a goth like. Mmm, mm, my first kiss. Oh, no need to apologize. In fact, my only regret was that I didn't do it first. <sighs> you know what? It's fine. I can work with this. Although, are you okay with me being your girlfriend? Me, the true blue goth? Well, if that's the case, maybe we can watch a Tim Burton classic? That's right, Corpse Bride. It'll be fun. Okay, let's just pop in the CD and let it rip. Uh, okay, I'll admit, it sounded better in my head. Anyways, let's get ready, boyfriend.